This video is for everyone who is struggling to find the right tools, to struggle how to connect the tools, where to place information, how the information is stored, where it is stored, how to get information to get things done, all these things. We know that many of you are struggling with and the paperless movement is here to help you get out of this. We already published the ICOM Mastery course that gives you a tool agnostic solution to learn how to unleash the full potential of your productivity. However, the tool agnostic approach is great to get an overview how your business workflows and everything works together. But we know you need to get tool specific advice as well. And so I'm really excited to announce today another addition to our iCore offering and you can access this for free today. You can sign up there and get it right now. It is our iCore framework. With this release, we will now really provide you an iCore framework that allows you to position your tools inside the framework and understand what is missing, where you need to connect tools. But you know, let's stop talking. Let's dive into this and see for yourself how this works. So when you sign up for free to the Paperless Movement membership or you're already a member, you will find this PDF file inside there, along with guidance and how to do this and how to use this. We also will provide inside the community a place where you can post your tool stack and share your iCore framework with others to get feedback from Paco and me and the team Paperless Movement, but also from all the other members inside the Paperless Movement membership. In addition, we will also publish in January 2023 additional lessons to our iCore Mastery course that will dive even deeper into how to take full advantage of this iCore framework. But now without further ado, let's see how this looks in action. So once you download the PDF file or the image, you can actually use tools like Miro or you can use it on your iPad. You can drag it in and you can draw on there. And there are so many ways wherever you can place this image, you can start to get a bird's eye view and really zoom in very quickly on your overall productivity system. Let's do this. Let's just drag and drop the image in here. All right, so there we go. If you're not familiar with Miro, this is a whiteboarding tool where you can drag things on. You can use any other whiteboarding tool as well to, to do this. And there's actually a course for the Paperless Movement members, how to use Miro and how to do mind mapping like a pro. But now this is our iCore framework. And if you went through the iCore Mastery course, you know what these symbols mean. I will go through this very quickly, but if you're interested to dive deeper and do this, join us for free in a Paperless Move membership and start watching the iCore Mastery course so you see already what this is all about. And here I placed already some example tools that we use in the Paperless Movement, but that I also use personally. And now I want to show you how you can place this inside the framework. To understand this, it might look confusing at the first look. However, it's very straightforward. This framework is split into two sections. Okay, actually in four sections, obviously, but the upper one is your personal productivity part in your personal life. And the lower one is the business productivity part. And we believe in the paperless movement that you need to understand there are two different areas in your life that you will use tools. Maybe you're working as a business professional in a corporate and you have to use certain tools. This ICO framework will help you to understand how to take the best advantage of everything, even if you're stuck with a tool that you cannot change, okay? And further, this difference is then here, you see the PKM, maybe some of you heard about this already. It's the personal knowledge management. Then we have the PPM, which is the personal project management. We have the BKM, which is the business knowledge management. And we have the BPM, which is the business project management. ICOR stands for input control, output refine. And what you see here is actually control. These are the symbols for the control in ICOR. These are the symbols for output in ICOR. And then we have input and refine. We come to this in a moment. So now all you need to do is list all the tools that you already use. Just list them as a simple list, then move them into two separate lists. So you say, what is your personal tool stack? So for example, I'm using Todoist for my personal task. And what is your business tool stack? We are using at the Paperless Movement ClickUp to manage our projects and everything. So then time management, for example, I'm using the Google Calendar, but also inside the business. So I would place it in a personal, 
but I would duplicate it and place it in business as well. Then we use business in business Miro, but we also I use it also personally. And then I use personally Apple Notes. Notion is just in here to show you something in a moment. And then we have this Plexi here, and I show you this as well in a moment, right? So you might end up with this tool combination. So now all we want to do is we want to place this on our iCore framework. So for personal, as I said, that's the personal project management. I'm only doing task management inside Todoist and that's it. I just drag and drop it in here. And then for time management, personal and business, I'm using Google Calendar. And that's where we have the intersections of the two areas, the personal project management and the business project management. And therefore, I just put the Google Calendar in here. So it applies to both areas. So that's my single source of truth when it comes to time management for both personal and business. And then we have ClickUp. Let's place ClickUp in here. But we also use ClickUp for our business knowledge management. So the information that are task related go into ClickUp as well as the task management, the project management. So therefore, I will move ClickUp up in here. So it shows now that we are using ClickUp for both for business knowledge management and business project management. And that's about it. So what about the other tools here? I could now use Notion for personal knowledge management. Notion is only used for personal knowledge management. I have some things that only are uh, in Notion. I could also use Evernote. I still use Evernote to scan my documents directly to Evernote so I have access to my doc to documents. So you see, I have two different tools already in here, but I can now identify or clarify what I'm using these tools for. They have very specific use cases, okay? But what about Apple Notes? I know that many of you are using Apple Notes as their personal knowledge management, but to me, Apple Notes is not that. So there's something else. You see this dotted circle around the iCore framework, and this is where we place so-called satellite apps. Again, if you want to dive deeper into this, watch our iCore Mastery course in the Paperless Movement membership. You will understand much more what we talk about. But in general, satellite apps are very highly specific apps for a specific purpose. For example, when I put now the Apple Notes on the satellite apps, surrounding here, then this indicates that I'm only using, and that's something that many people say, well, Tom, you're using, you doing videos about Apple Notes and how to use Apple Notes. You even have a course inside the Papers Move membership about Apple Notes. Why do you also talk about Evernote and Notion? Well, the iCore framework allows me now to easily explain to you where I'm using Apple Notes, when I'm using Apple Notes and for what. So Apple Notes is for me something that allows me to quickly capture information, to make a picture, save it, and things like that. But this is not my final destination of information. I might just need to write up a phone number to call somebody after a phone call. So I might don't need this number anytime again. So I don't want to clutter up my single source of truth for knowledge management with this temporary information. And therefore, I'm using Apple Notes as a satellite app. And this just means either I just quickly sketch something down, as I just mentioned, or it is something I just write down because it's easier to capture something in there, writing it down on an iPad, and then later on process it, it into my final destination. And therefore the information I captured here goes into the final destination. I could then, you know, manage my notes inside Apple Notes with a hashtag that shows that it needs to be processed and needs to go to my final destination. But just looking at this now, at this framework, it allows me to quickly understand, ah, this is the only purpose I'm using Apple Notes for. I'm not allowed to use it for something else. And then it goes to Notion. For example, Miro. Miro could be a business project management as well. But again, to me and to the team papers movement as well, it is a satellite app. It is something, as you see here, right here, it's whiteboarding, we are sketching things down. The whole iCore concept, everything was created inside Miro. However, the final product goes into the final destination. So whenever I finish my map here, I will refine this and bring it into the final destination. And that's how we define satellite apps. So we know it is just temporary information and this takes off a lot of pressure to know where the information is stored. We also can very quickly identify gaps, disconnections between different tools that create friction. So for example, think about the following use case. 
you're working in business and you're using ClickUp as your project manager. So that's where you work with your team and so on. That's the macro management part. However, it always comes down to micromanagement and that you need to get things done. And this is where things get tricky. Many people start writing down lists on paper to you know work on things on one day or they have tools like Todoist so they write down and duplicate information from ClickUp into Todoist and you can replace ClickUp with Asana or with Microsoft To Do or whatever you like but you end up working in your personal thing. So the way to overcome this by just looking at the iCore framework, it's now easy to identify that I have a tool that stores information about what I need to do for my personal place, but I also have a tool that stores information what I need to do for the business. So either I keep both really separated and say Todoist is just for things like gardening and working on the house and private projects and the ClickUp is only the business task. So this means I'm really disconnected when I'm home, I'm working with Todoist. When I'm at work, I'm only looking at ClickUp. That's something that would work. But I like to have a simple list and there we have another satellite app, which is Plexi. And this, what this tool does, it's actually connecting Todoist with ClickUp and vice versa. So that's important. It's a two-way synchronization. So this means whenever I have a task that is assigned to me inside ClickUp, it will get created in Todoist and it will get assigned to me as well. We have a Todoist tool course inside the Payables Movement membership where I talk about exactly how to set up this connection. So if you're interested to learn more about this, feel free to join the Payables Movement membership. And now Todoist has the functionality to two-way synchronize with the calendar as well. So this means by using the setup, I can have a task that the project manager assigns to me. And this task gets automatically created inside Todoist. And therefore, when it has a due date, it will also get connected to Google Calendar. And when I update the title, for example, in the Google Calendar, it will update the title in Todoist and it will update the title inside ClickUp. When I tick off the task as done in Todoist, it will tick off the task is completed in ClickUp and so on and so forth. I can come up with these solutions with the less friction possible using the iCore framework. You see how simple this is now to getting a map of your own tool stack. And the amazing things will happen in 2023 when we dive a lot deeper into this. All the upcoming reviews, we will use this map. So you will see this map over and over again if you follow us on this channel, if you're a member of the Payables Movement membership. We will also launch the group coaching calls again for the Payables Movement members where we will meet up together with Paco and me and we will talk about your specific tool stacks. And that's best when you have this map prepared. It's so easy to discuss your tool, tool stacks. When Paco and I worked on this together and he has his tool stack, for example, he's using Akiflow instead of Plixi and he's not using Todoist, he's using something else. And be sure we will share our specific tool stack. So if you want, you can see if you can pick up anything that we work with, you will see exactly what tools I use personally, what Paco uses personally, and again, all the tools from all the other members in the Payables Move membership who are interested to share this with us. So I don't want to dive too deep into this. I want you to get started, play around, give us feedback inside the Payables Movement membership, how you like it. And as I said, join us for free today. It's available right now for download and we cannot wait to share even more things that will come very soon in 2023. Until then, I wish you a happy new year and stay safe. Hey.